uh, hello there so we are back with outlook calendar api now we'll check the second uh, option which is the get uh, get free or busy schedules it asks for a user and it will give all the busy schedules of that user so i'll give the email id i'll give my email id then i'll set the start and end date time through uh, within uh, that so it will uh, sort out all the busy schedules within that time frame i'll select today's date with 2 then end date will be 2 of tomorrow so it gave me one busy schedule uh, is a is a, it's a schedule with I uh, schedule ID as my ID then the subject of that event and that status is busy so I'll be busy within this time within this time frame so we'll check how to get the busy schedules we we'll go to design then there is this repeating group that we have to select So here's the repeating group where it uses a API and data source, which is called get free or busy schedules, where it asks for access token, then the preferred time zone that you can get from the elements property called current time zone, then list of emails. I have, I have only, only given one email, but you can give a list of emails by separating them in comma. Then you can give the time zone from that element called Outlook Cal, current time zone. Then the end date and the start date. There is a specific format to that you can see from the documentation. And the availability interval. So this is the duration of the time slot. So default value is 30 minutes. Uh, minimum is 5, you can give that. It's an optional value. So yeah, this is how you can get, uh, use the get free or busy schedules API. Thank you.